What's up everybody, Ryan here at Signature Edits and today I've got to show you something that seriously blew my mind. It's called the Alt Option Key and it's Lightroom's secret weapon. I'm going to show you 16 ways you can use this tiny little key on your keyboard to seriously change the way you edit. It's going to save you a ton of time and seriously up your photo game. Are you ready? Let's go. Trick number one, holding the Alt or Option key will expand your Quick Develop panel to include sharpening and saturation. Number two, also in the library module, hold down Alt Option and you can assign keywords using your number keys. Number three is especially helpful if you have a small display. Hold Alt or Option when selecting a drop down window and that will enable solo mode. This means that only one window will be open at a time when solo mode is enabled, saving you on screen space. To turn it off, hold Alt Option and hit a drop down again. Number four is going to save you a ton of time. Hold down Alt Option over any panel and you'll see an option to reset all the settings in that panel. The one panel this doesn't apply to is the tone curve. Holding Alt Option there will fine tune your adjustments. So let's say you want Lightroom to automatically apply these settings every time you import your photos. Well, holding Alt Option allows you to set defaults so that every time Lightroom sees a photo from that particular camera, it will pull up the same settings. Number seven is visualizing split toning. Holding Alt Option and dragging on the hue allows you to see more quickly and effectively what color you are adding to your highlights or to your shadows. Trick number eight is super handy. Holding Alt Option allows you to crop into the center of the image rather than the edge. Our next four tools are all for your adjustment layers. Starting with spot removal, holding Alt Option allows you to really quickly cut away any layers that didn't work out. Moving on into our gradient tool, holding Alt or Option and dragging the edge of your gradient will actually invert it to the other side of your image. While we're on gradients, holding the center of your gradient and dragging it to the right or left while holding Alt or Option will intensify or lessen the effect that you are applying. The awesome part is this also works with radial gradients. Grabbing the center, dragging to the left will lessen your effect and to the right will intensify. Trick number 13, while drawing an adjustment layer and holding Alt Option, you will toggle to your eraser and you can erase whatever you need to. And if you're wondering if you've clipped those highlights, all you have to do is hold Alt or Option while dragging on your exposure, your contrast, your highlights, or your whites, and it will reveal the areas of your image that have been clipped. One of the most effective uses of the Alt Option key is in the sharpening process. Holding it, adjusting the amount will toggle to black and white, adjusting the radius, the mask, the detail will show you exactly which areas of the image are being affected and by how much. And finally, number 16, holding Alt Option allows you to visualize noise reduction, see which areas are being affected, and whether any details being lost. And just like that, 16 ways to use that Alt Option key to seriously up your photo game and save you a ton of time in editing. If you liked it, please hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Alright, peace!